Hi, hello everyone. Jenna here from Science Express, educational specialist, and today's five minute video series is going to be about light. And so I've chosen an activity, a hands-on activity from our program. It's actually found in physical science book and the light energy module, session five, connection to the arts, and it's called stained glass windows. I mean, come on. This is an awesome, awesome activity to do with your kinder first or second grade kiddos. So the teacher objective, just so you know, is to reinforce that light energy moves through transparent surfaces, but it can be reflected by reflective surfaces, and it can be stopped by opaque surfaces. Now don't worry about those vocabulary words. We're going to be sharing opaque, translucent, transparent surfaces, but the kids don't really know. Okay, so we just want to make sure that they have that. But the idea is that the kids are going to create something and notice how the light shines through it. So in this activity, which is about 20 minutes long, you can make it shorter or longer depending on how you prep it. Simple, simple materials. Um, we're talking about some art books. So first we want to actually introduce our kids to what stained glass really means. You can project some images of stained glass up on your boards um, or have some books out. I just actually printed um, just a couple of ideas of, of different things. Obviously churches are really popular places that kids remember stained glass. Um, they might have them in their, old, in their homes if they have older homes or Victorian homes. And then I think one of the most popular types of stained glass art is actually a lamp. So some kids might even have one of these in their home. You might have one that you can bring in. Um, but stained glass is really popular. And so after we do that, we're gonna provide our kids with um, some kind of some, um, some paper or plastic that allows us to put in some translucent, transparent, and opaque uh, materials that we have. And you could also just use some contact paper or packing tape. You don't have to use anything particular. These are actually like snack bags. So any kind of contact paper on both sides, um, that's fine to use too. So um, I've also seen teachers use the tops of coffee cans, although you gotta collect all those really fast. So sometimes contact paper is sort of the best way to go. And then you need some simple materials like um, some uh, paper from gift wrap. So some, some basic squares, you can cut them. I actually found uh, this package right here at the dollar store. Uh, tissue paper squares already cut in all different colors. That's awesome. Um, I also found this at the dollar store. It's some foil that you can cut into squares. Um, and then of course, uh, that would be your, your mirror reflective surfaces. Um, and then you can also put in some more clear plastic. So that would give you some nice real see-through ideas. And the whole concept again is just to keep it really simple. Have the kids put in some of the colors. They can even put their name in there. And all they're going to do is they're going to fill up or separate out all of their colors and put them inside the baggie or on the paper. And, um, and the neat part is, is just asking the questions that are right here in the lesson plan. So, you know, which part parts can you see as you look through the window or through your light? And you can kind of see the things you can see through, which things are reflected back at you. Um, which parts of your window cast a shadow? You can talk about shadows. Um, what did you like about the activity? What would you change about the activity? So you can even turn this a little bit more into an engineering activity. Where could you take this next? Have some more communication. You can also add some math extensions. You could tally up the number of things that they had, um, how many um, were translucent, transparent, opaque, um, and how many shadows did you see? What were the size of the shadows? So you can add in some math contents too. So these are really fun. You can also put some strings on them and hang them up from the windows or tape them up on the windows. Um, or you you can even make them into fun bookmarks if that's the case. So I just wanted to, because um, um, March is Women's Month and we want to talk about some women scientists, I just wanted to introduce you uh, virtually because I don't know them very well, but luminade.com, L-U-M-I-N-A-I-D.com, two amazing, amazing females, Anna Stark and Andrea Shretta, and I'm probably saying that wrong, I apologize, Andrea, or Andrea, and they have 
one of the neatest things ever. I want to show you um, some of the images from their website. And so they basically designed a tool to have solar light in areas that don't have any power. So recently with Irma coming through and causing all the destruction in Puerto Rico, they were able to provide um, buy one get one for aid um, of all of these people that didn't have any light and they're recharged by the sun. So why not introduce your kids? You can just go to Luminade.com and when you go on Luminade.com they have a great little video that you can share to learn more about how the Luminate device works. Maybe you even want to do one for your classroom or order one for your classroom. But it's great to see Women's um, Women's Month is March and to see you know what it's like. Um, some women scientists that have designed this, and they're very young ladies. So it's nice to see women designing different things and and helping the earth and helping people around them. So thanks so much, and we'll talk to you soon. See you next month. Bye now.